Hey, how's it going? My name is Nate from Car Replico, and today we are going to be showing off one of the new pieces that we just came out with, uh, or coming out with, which is the 1971 Javelin Grill. So this has been a piece that's been long anticipated. Uh, it's been a long, long time in the making, but uh, we're just getting ready to come out with these, and we're really excited about how they turned out. So today we're just going to give you some close-up shots. I'm going to be talking just a little bit about uh, these pieces. Uh, get you a little bit more familiar with them and uh, hopefully at the end of this you'll have a, uh, a good understanding of uh, what you might be expecting if you uh, do decide to get one of these pieces. So each one of these grills is made entirely by hand. Uh, they're made from fiberglass, resin, and a little bit of plastic. So because they're made by hand there may be some differences or maybe some slight inconsistencies uh, compared to one of the original pieces. So, of course, nothing is going to beat an original, uh, but uh, these do make for great replacements for any of the folks looking for a grill that uh, is either, you know, severely damaged or, uh, you know, potentially broken, or maybe you have the wrong grill on the wrong car. Maybe you have a 72 and you're looking for uh, a 71, or you want to change styles. These are great pieces for that. Uh, all of our grills, except for this one, actually are going to come undrilled. So all your mounting tabs up here are going to be undrilled as well as in the bottoms. Um, and the reason why we do that is because every single car, uh, you know, back in the 70s when AMC were making these, uh, their production lines were not quite as consistent as the ones today. Um, and so what we found after working with a lot of these different parts is that each car is going to have just slight little differences between them. And since these are made by hand, like I said, there'll be some differences, some inconsistencies. And so to allow that little bit of a room for adjustment, we leave these holes undrilled, uh, but we supply you with the drill bits and all the mounting hardware, as well as the brackets to be able to put on uh, the... Uh, the actual pieces on and then you can drill them to the exact location that works best on your car. So now the actual styling of this is the 71 Javelin and that's noted by the silver painted uh, stripings along here as well as on the grates and down here at the bottom. Uh, that was uh, the traditional for the 71 but as a lot of you know these grill tubs as they're called um, also fit on a 71 through 74 AMX. The only difference is, is that you have that grill screen that goes on the front. Now, since these grills are the exact same from 71 through 74 on the AMX, as well as on the 71 Javelin, this grill will actually work with a 71 through 74 AMX. However, the actual holes for where you mount the, a the AMX grill screen on front of are not drilled. So if you do pick up one of these for the purpose of putting it on an AMX with that grill screen, you'll have to drill those holes. Very simple to do. Um, in fact, on our website, we'll try to put a quick little tutorial of how to do that. But I just want to make a note that uh, it is universal that you can fit it on there. Also, uh, we will be making uh, the, as you'll probably know, that the AMX uh, grill tubs were all black. They didn't have those painted lines or the bullseye emblem. We will be coming out with a all solid black AMX uh, 71 through 74 uh, grills, as well as we are working on the grill screens. Um, we just don't have those quite ready yet, um, but if you're in a hurry and you want to go ahead and pick up one of these, uh, you can do that. You just have to make a couple uh, you know, holes for your grill screens and it'll be good to go. So one of the questions that we also get a lot of times is, will this work on a 71, 72 to 74 Javelin? And the answer is yes, kind of. Um, so up here at the top, you're going to have what is called the uh, grill support. And although I don't have one here that I'm showing you, um, the grill support slips right inside of here. Those are different on a 72 through 74 Javelin, not on the AMX, only the Javelins are different. So if you want to put this exact grill tub on a 72 or 74, 72 through 74 Javelin, you'll either need to modify your existing grill support that goes up at the top, or the easier thing is just either buy a 71 Javelin grill support or just an AMX one. They'll make your life much easier rather than having to modify it. Now, the other couple of things that will be different with them as well is your actual hood latch. The hood latches are different on the Javelins compared to the AMXs. And the reason being for that 
is on the javelins, you can easily come in here and actually lift up on the lever for the hood latch, where on the AMXs, you're going to have uh, uh, the grill screen that goes in front. And so the hood latch is gonna be different. So you may wanna check out on your car and make sure that works properly um, for this, uh, depending on what side you're going with, if you're doing any modification between the years as well as the 72 through the 74s have different hood latches that will be not compatible with this specific grill. So you wanna make sure you check out and investigate that a little bit more. We'll try to put some information on our website about that. Last thing is the headlight bezels that go on the side. So you have your headlight bezel that comes up right here. Um, that's gonna be different on the uh, 72 through 74 uh, javelins. Now, again, it's the same on the 71 through 74 AMXs, but for this style, um, they're slightly different. So you'll need to either purchase those or probably modify yours. Um, easiest is just to purchase uh, those headlight bezels uh, from the appropriate years. So that way you can fit it and match it appropriately. Each one of these pieces is actually made in Mexico by my father-in-law. Uh, Marco, he's the mastermind behind our entire operations, everything we do. So all thanks to him for bringing these to us. We're extremely happy with them. I think they look great and will be a, a great product for a lot of people out there. So flipping this over and showing you the bottom side, um, it has a little bit of a rougher material and that's just because here we didn't uh, spend quite as long, uh, as much time working on the bottom side, just because that's not a visible section. Uh, try to help keep cost as a, uh, as, as, uh, efficient as possible, uh, economic as possible. Um, so we don't focus on that as much, but the important parts are gonna be the visible part from the front and that has a nice smooth consistency. Uh, transitions slightly up here to the top with uh, not quite as that smooth uh, finish um, on the top place, but it still looks really good. And also showing off our brackets. So each uh, one of our grills is going to come with brackets as well. Um, instead of using your originals, you will be supplied with a set of these as well as the mounting screws and we even include a proper size drill bit so that way you guys will have everything you need except for the drill uh, to be able to install these and of course like a couple screwdrivers and uh, the other tools that you need to actually do the work but everything should be here um, again make sure to go to our website carreplico.com where you can uh, order these and uh, we're anticipating that these will probably sell out pretty quick on the first ones but don't worry if you don't pick one up immediately on the first round we're already in the process of making plenty more of these um, so as long as you guys want them uh, as long as there's demand for them we'll keep on making these as well as all of our other parts that we supply as well so again that's carreplico.com thanks for tuning in we'll catch you guys next time